2023 Honda HR-V EXL First Test Review Time for some crazy talk, the redesigned 2023 Honda HR-V might soon be the company's only SUV with an MSRP comfortably less than $30,000. That's not big news for car enthusiasts, but buyers not aware of the new 2023 Honda CR-V's upmarket move are in for a surprise. Suddenly, price-conscious CR-V intenders will be kicking tires on the more affordable HR-V, which takes on a more important role in Honda's SUV lineup. Those buyers will find in the 2023 Honda HR-V a refined ride with influences from the excellent Civic as well as from the outgoing HR-V, the latter not quite in the way we'd like. 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration versus its rivals. At Motor Trend, we track test cars even small SUVs like the 2023 Honda HR-V so we can establish how each vehicle's performance compares to the competition. And in this Honda's case, it's not a great story. Every new HR-V is powered by a 158 horsepower naturally aspirated 2.0 liter i4 good for 138 lbft of torque. Those numbers match the latest Civic, which uses the same engine. As you'd expect, the engine sweats less with the front-wheel drive Civic sedan, which is hundreds of pounds lighter than our 2023 HR-V EXL test SUV with more features in all-wheel drive. Okay, so let's compare the new HRVS 9.8 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time to vehicles its own size. A 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross XLE AWD is nearly a half second quicker, 9.3 seconds, while a Subaru Crosstrek with a 2.5 liter engine is a startling 2.0 seconds quicker. As if that isn't enough, the AWD Subaru is also more efficient. Even against the last-gen HRV, the new model comes up short, a 2019 HRV Sport AWD we tested reached 60 miles per hour in 9.6 seconds. Behind the wheel, the HRV feels slow, but you can still execute highway passes as long as you plan them out a bit. That type of compromise used to be a given in this segment, but that's no longer the case. The Kia Seltos, Subaru Crosstrek, and a couple other competitors won't feel quite as slow as the HRV. It's not the end of the world, and it won't be the top priority for most buyers, but it's worth noting. This engine doesn't show much power until it revs past 4000 RPM. Braking and Handling The 2023 Honda HRV doesn't gain competitive ground in 60 to 0 miles per hour panic braking either. Or, rather, it covers more ground than its competitors. A distance of 125 feet is fine for a small SUV like this one, but so is 120 feet, the Corolla Cross, 114 to 124 feet, two cross treks we've tested, or 114 feet, a 2019 HRV. Clearly, this Honda isn't a numbers car, but at the test track we found brake pedal feel to be fine for a daily driver. The brakes also remain trustworthy and consistent across our figure 8 testing, being both effective and predictable. On the figure 8 course, a motor trend evaluation that assesses acceleration, handling, braking, and the transitions in between the 2023 HRV finished in 28.5 seconds at 0.56 g, average, placing it behind the most recent Subaru Crosstrex and the Toyota Corolla Cross and Kia Seltos turbos we tested. The steering felt a little heavy, but was precise. The engine displayed nearly adequate power and made lots of noise. The new HRVS story improves away from the track. Its continuously variable transmission feels well-tuned around town and on the highway, delivering smoother performance than any conventional or dual-clutch automatic ever could. The suspension is well-damped for a small and inexpensive SUV, too. In other words, put up with the mild acceleration and there's a payoff in the general feeling of solidity you don't get with all of the HRVS rivals. Ups and Downs Honda backs up that feeling with an interior sprinkled with surprising and delightful touches. There's soft material on the side of the center console, perfect for resting your leg against during a long red light, and you get the honeycomb dash trim design we've seen on the Civic and CRV. That real metal trim disguises air vents and separates two physical knobs on top to control the audio system, volume and tuning, as well as three knobs below for the HVAC system. A small open storage area can hold your keys, and the back seat is spacious for such a small SUV. 
you simply don't get these touches on every HRV competitor. Where many of them make up ground is digital screen space. The 2023 HRV LX in sport trims come standard with a 7.0 inch touchscreen, smaller than what you can get elsewhere. A larger 9.0 inch unit comes on the top EXL trim. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the line, but we'd welcome a bigger screen or one tilted a bit toward the driver on the lower two trims. By the way, we asked Honda whether it expects any feature omissions due to part shortages affecting the industry, and the automaker said all HR Versus should have the full features and functions listed for each trim level. Great! The entry-level SUV segment is much larger than it was when the first-generation HRV arrived, which helps put the Honda's pros and cons into perspective. With fuel economy and driving range, for example, it doesn't quite keep up with our chosen competitive set. An EPA-rated 26 city 32 highway MPG with FWD and 2530 with AWD is not bad on its own, but it's inferior to the 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross 3133 MPG with FWD and 2932 with AWD and the AWD-only Subaru Crosstrek. For the 2023 model year, the Subaru comes in at 28.33 mile per gallon with its standard 2.0-liter engine and 2734 with the 2.5-liter unit. The Subaru also holds a huge advantage compared to the Honda in combined city-slash-highway driving range, you'll travel about 100 miles farther in either automatic transmission crosstrek than you will in the Honda. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.